Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your 2019 six-month forecast. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a look at the first six months of 2019 for you from January until June. Please keep in mind that this, this is a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your personal first six months or any six months in your year, regardless of when you are watching this, if you would like a look into your own personal forecast, please go right ahead and email me. These readings are available for personal consumption. What I'm going to be doing is I'm using the Major Arcana uh, from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Dreams of Gaia Tarot here. There it is. And um, this is a fairly new deck to me. I've had it for some time, but I really haven't really quite used it yet but they were calling to be a part of this reading this series for you guys so um, I am going to be pulling one card for each month January through June and then I'm going to be clarifying with the tarot the traditional tarot this is the crystal visions tarot deck um, the dreams of Gaia tarot is like a it's like a, a tarot deck but it's a little bit different and it's really beautiful the artwork is fantastic but because of the fact that it is fairly new to me I am going to be reading from the book just a little bit um, because there are some very different themes in this deck that I think are really kind of perfect for this kind of situation that we're into right now all right so with that said let's get started actually let me do it yeah that's fine <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us an accurate representation of the first six months of 2019 for Cancer, January through June. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the Major Arcana of the Dreams of Gaia Tarot here. I am just going to shuffle this up a little bit. For, ooh, okay, so we have January, Choice, February, The Mother, March, Knowledge. Okay, so we've got January, February, and March. So there is a, a, a really big decision that's going to need to be made here, starting off your year, Cancer. Okay, let's see April, the youth, okay. Um, April, I'm seeing, is going to be a really fertile month. For some reason, the first thing that I got when, the, when I saw the youth was there's going to be some sort of... Uh, bonding, a building of some sort of relationship for you, potentially, in April, Cancer. Whoa. Okay, wait. No, let's, I wasn't even asking. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, for May. Let's see what we have for you for May, Cancer. Nope, nope. <laughs> for May, please, Spirit. Here we go. The Sage, okay, and June. Death and Rebirth, my, my, okay. Fantastic. So let's look at this a little bit. Let's talk about this for a little bit here, an overview. We've got, uh, you're starting, it's, it's interesting because you're starting January, you're starting your year with, choice and this is the very first card within uh the major arcana of the dreams of gaia tarot um, again we're going to get into some into depth individually in just a moment but i just want to talk about an overview here um choice having to make a decision this could be around a, a relationship for you but choice does speak about um letting go of procrastination making a move making a choice to making a decision and then moving forward okay now when it comes to february i am seeing um the mother here and the, i'm getting a very much an empress vibe from the mother okay 
Uh, yes, very much an Empress vibe. So now in this deck, uh, this is card number four. So there could be an emphasis on family stability. Uh, February is a month for... Uh, it tends to be a month for love <laughs> because of, you know, Valentine's Day and all that. And I, I am getting some sort of, I'm getting a sense of some sort of budding relationship for Cancerians in 2019, or at least the beginning of 2019. Um, it's just an overall feeling that I'm getting here. March is going to be a very knowledgeable month, okay? You have knowledge here. Knowledge is about learning, wisdom, gaining information, reading all any and all books that you can. Um, there could be some sort of project that you're working on that you are really trying to gain some more information on. Now, when it comes to April, I did say that I did pick up that the first thing I thought I saw when, when the youth came out in April was about some sort of budding relationship. The youth is... Uh, the companion to the, um, what is, the, the maiden, I believe her name, I believe it's the card is. The youth is a very, is a very headstrong individual, can be pretty egotistical, um, usually pretty selfish, but the youth is someone that follows his own intuition, his own path, and doesn't do anything because someone says he needs to or he should. He only really does something because it's something that he wants to do. There's something in it for him. There's some sort of something that... It's, it falls along the lines of something he may potentially want to accomplish. And I'm just, I'm getting some sort of situation, an energy of going in your own direction, doing things in your own way and not because other people tell you to or suggest it or because it's quote unquote right. It's not necessarily the right thing to do by societal standards at all, but it is very much the right thing to do for you and what it is you choose or you wish to accomplish. And that falls right in line with May, which is the sage. And now the sage, to me, is like the adult version of the youth. The sage is someone that is very wise, um, has really been through a lot, um, is very much an old soul type energy, and is very much a leader. Uh, this, to me, gives me energies of the hermit. I'm not sure there's actually a hermit card in here, but in this deck, but I'm very much picking up vibes of the hermit. This is someone that has gone within and found their own inner light and now works towards uh, sharing that light with others. I'm getting a very, very much a lead by example type of energy from the sage. Also, maybe even a teacher type energy from the sage. And then finally, in June, you have death and rebirth. Okay, so this could be a complete transformation for you and what I'm getting here is mostly a transformation in your image um, if you've been working to revamp yourself if you've been working to revamp your life um, if maybe you've been, been working on some sort of business opportunity I really see that June could really be a turning point for you okay so let's get into the months individually here I'm actually gonna put this here all right, starting with choice. I am going to read from the book a little bit, but this is January, okay? So, choice. Just a few of the keywords here. Keywords, choice, options, opportunity, free will, self-determination, mindfulness, manifestation, cause and effect, reward, consequence, procrastination. Key phrases, choice creates reality. Belief is a choice. Inaction is a choice. The choice is yours. Determine your direction. The past has influence. Choice offers reward or consequence. Weigh your options. Choose wisely. Stop procrastinating. Be responsible for your choices. Awareness powers. I'm sorry, awareness empowers, okay? So um, I'm already getting, you know, there's definitely an energy of needing to make a choice, yes. But this is having options, I'm hearing. Many of you may have been uh, putting off some kind of choice in your life. And for reasons that, you know, you, you fear of regret, remorse, maybe some Five of Cups energy. We'll see what we get here. But um, I, for some reason, this figure on this card is really standing out. Uh, the, the one that's darker, that's, that's crying, 
there's probably a really tough decision that you that you need to make and i'm just picking up a very heavy relationship vibe maybe even a family vibe for you for the first half of this year cancerians um i mean cancer you're very family oriented to begin with um so in a very nurturing very loving very caring i feel like there for some of you there could be a partner that um, you may have fallen out with and you've been kind of procrastinating is the word I'm looking for. You've been putting off making a, a sort of decision whether to stay or to go. So I really do see you facing that in January because it's an energy of not wanting to continue in the old cycle that was 2018. You know, I, I'm potentially, if you could have made this choice i apologize for the car alarm going off outside but if you potentially could have made this choice in 2018 i think it would have been better for you but if it has come into 2019 and you have not yet made this decision yet january definitely is or would be the time to do it okay all right one more shuffle and then i'm just going to get some clarification here for january for cancerians Let's see, let's see. Just some clarification, please. Spirit for January and Cancer. The Ace of Wands. Look at that. Okay. All right. Ace of Wands. Underneath the deck, you have the Page of Cups. So there could be some sort of energy of reconciliation, but what I'm really seeing here for you, Cancer, is you making a choice to follow your dreams. I really feel like you have a dream that you wish to, that you really want to go after. And what could be po being pointed out to me here in this figure that seems to be crying in this card of choice is the past holding you back from achieving your dreams or from, from getting it. Maybe you felt, that if this was a, a potential relationship, maybe you felt that you know, this past relationship would have given you everything that you wanted. It turns out that it didn't. And so now instead of trying to, um, <laughs> for, uh, uh, instead of um, staying on the merry-go-round, there we go, of something that may not necessarily be working for you, you're choosing to go in a different direction. But I feel like there's already some sort of inspiration here with the Ace of Wands. This could be a brand new person that you have met that you actually are growing feelings for and you could potentially find, <laughs> yep, you could potentially find this happiness, this growth uh, for you. You have justice. So whatever choice you're going to be making here, it's going to bring justice in your life. And I do see this as a potential relationship because you do have the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone that is very much commitment oriented. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and it's someone that is just, is very much interested in moving very slow because I do feel like they are sharing the same vision as you. And that's definitely where justice comes into play. Okay, it's justice for both of you. Now, for others of you, this is not doesn't have to. Now, this doesn't have to be a relationship. For others of you, this could this could be, or for you too, it, it could be both. There could be some sort of uh, career opportunity here for you, and the choice was made to follow your inspiration, your intuition when it comes to embarking on a new journey. Um, and I see you in, in in January really taking the steps to make this happen for yourself with the Knight of Pentacles here. This is a very um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? This is a very slow and steady energy. Um, it's someone that wants to build from the ground up. This is a perfect energy to have on your side or at your disposal when you wish to make a blueprint or plan things out or be thorough about something. And that's really an energy that's happening here. And overall, this is a big justice for you. This is a big, this is a, this is a huge victory, says the universe, because you're deciding to go into business for yourself or you're deciding to do something for yourself. And this is something that you've always dreamed of with the Page of Cups here. And it may be that, you know, this is something that you've always dreamed of, like since you were a kid, or for some time now, you've been desiring to go in this new direction, and you finally have the inspiration and the impetus to do so, and you finally made the choice to do so. 
okay? I just get a really good vibe from this, especially since justice is here. This is really bringing justice into your life. This is balancing the scales. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, you also, if we're still, if we're going back to relationship status, you could be dealing with what we have. Actually, we have all the signs here, but you could be dealing with a fire sign too, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing, dealing with a, an, another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? But all in all, um, if you're feeling any sort of unease, just understand that January is definitely a month of starting over, I'm hearing for you, all right? Definitely. There's a new path that's being embarked on. There's a new path that's coming forward for you. And going into February, there's definitely a good amount of abundance. I'm definitely getting an abundant energy from the mother here for your month of February. Um, this is very much an Empress energy to me. I would say that this would be the Empress card, the equivalent to the Empress card in this deck. Uh, let me just shuffle that one more time. And now I would like to read a little bit about the mother here. I actually did, I literally just wanted to call her the Empress. So I do think this is the equivalent. The mother. Unconditional love, intimacy, nurturing, compassion, abundance, growth, fruitfulness, acceptance, fear, control, outcomes. Key phrases, love without conditions, encourage gifts and talent, emotional intimacy and affection, be supportive, embrace abundance, let go of expectations. We are all different. Nurture ideas and goals, voice thoughts and opinions, forgive past failures, release control of others, emotional manipulation. So this is very positive. I'm really getting a very, very positive vibe here for you uh, for the month of February, Cancer, because in January, you went through this period of making a choice. And it was probably a pretty tough decision, whether it is a choice that you made prior to the beginning of the year, or if it's one <laughs> and the procrastination situation just came back up. You may have, for some of you, you may have put this off and now come January, you can't put it off anymore. And so you're making, you're, you're, you, you're either making the decision or you've made the decision. And in January, you're dealing with that in some way. You're dealing with, I don't want to say repercussions because I don't want it to seem like it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but you're, you're dealing with the adjustments that come with making this decision. And so now you get into February and you have the abundance of the universe behind you. You have unconditional love. You have acceptance. You have growth. Um, you're obviously you're advised to release expectations. Okay. Because when I, I, I'm seeing an image, the uh, spirit is showing me an image of that saying where, you know, you can't really you plant the seeds, but then you can't like yell at them to make them grow. You can't tug on them to make them grow faster. You just have to let them grow. And you, you have to let them grow in a way that is best for them, that is natural for them. You have to still, even though you may have planted, planted seeds of desire for some sort of manifestation or specific outcome. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the clarification now. Um, even though you've planted certain disease, certain seeds of desire for a certain outcome or, you know, like a certain result, you still have to allow it to mature and manifest in its own way and allow it to be its own being. All right. You can't force it to be something that it's not. And in the, in the month of February, I really see there's a lot of fertility. Some of you may even become pregnant. Um, some of you may be looking to become pregnant. So maybe that was your choice in the beginning of January um, or the beginning of the year, or maybe prior to the beginning of the year, wanting to start a family. Um, there's definitely a family vibe here. But also with the number four, this is looking like a very solid, stable time for your manifestations to come into fruition. So let's see what we get clarification-wise. Two of Wands. All right, well, there goes that choice again. Oh. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Underneath, underneath the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So you definitely have a fresh start on something, um, a new opportunity, uh, some sort of commitment. Let's see what else we have here. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Sun in Reverse, the Chariot, there you are, and the High Priestess. So 
the sun in reverse is here. It, it, it did spin. It fell out and then it spun around. Uh, I feel like for some of you, there's still, obviously there's still some sort of choice that needs to be made. Now, maybe some of you really aren't making that decision in January. Maybe some of you are coming upon a situation where, and, and it's, okay, now this is going back to like one of those original scenarios that I was seeing here. Um, in that, you know, you're coming into the new year and there's something, there's a desire, you get inspired by something. Now, keep in mind, you did have the Ace of Wands come out in January. Um, and so maybe that is for you specifically, that is the impetus to now make a choice and you're weighing the options or you're coming to terms with the fact that, okay, something really needs to be done about this now. And so now here in Jan February, the choice could potentially be actually be made, okay, for a lot of you. And that choice could be to become single, the Nine of Pentacles. But then with the seven of pentacles, um, I really see that you've, you know, you've learned all you needed to learn in that circumstance. And so now you're stepping off on your own. You're branching off on your own. With the sun in reverse here, it might feel like a bit of um, a dark period. But ultimately, the sun will come back out. And ultimately, I will say that whatever choice you made is probably most likely going to be the right one even though even though for some reason some of you may feel like you know may feel some sort of depression especially if especially if you know if you're choosing to leave a relationship behind um and february is the month of like valentine's day and all that that could be a pretty depressing time for you okay but here you are cancer moving on swiftly strongly confidently i feel like okay um the chariot i mean you're you're really moving towards your goals towards your uh, your your desires what it is you truly want to achieve or manifest in the world and with the high priestess here there's a lot of unknown around you and that's absolutely why we have in my opinion this is why we have the sun in reverse some of you may have to make a choice or may have had to make a choice um the two of wands can either represent the choice has been made or you're still having to make that choice okay take what resonates but with the sun in reverse here and the high priestess it's like you know you're not quite clear what's going to happen what's going to come of the future maybe not really all that clear as to what you're moving towards although you do have a direction in mind but i see a new beginning okay i see maybe finances improving for you in february um maybe some sort of opportunity for a new commitment to come through here with the ace of pentacles okay you went from the ace of wands in january to now the ace of pentacles in february so if you have an idea for a brand new business opportunity i really feel like you'll be making the decision to and that that decision will be moving you in the right direction to get something some sort of new financial situation started or a new commitment of some sort if that is with a new partner now in march you do have knowledge so i feel like many of you are really going to be working towards this new goal this new plan that you are putting into place here okay um you're learning about maybe you're you're expanding your skill set um at some for some of you you could be assimilating a lot of what happened in the past so then making that choice in february um it, some of you could be brand, uh, i mean what i was seeing with the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles some of you really branching off on your own going in your own direction and that's kind of a central a big theme for a lot of you cancerians in January, I'm sorry, not January, the beginning of 2019, the next card you have in April is the youth. Um, and I really feel like you're going to be spending March gathering some sort of information so that you can continue to move in your own direction. Okay. Now, just because you're having to make a choice here doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you're, um, making any huge steps towards it this really could just be all internal it doesn't necessarily have to mean that anything is quite showing for it yet 
in the physical, okay? Um, so for some of you, it does. For some of you, you are making a choice and you're making some big moves. But for other, others of you, you're making a decision inside, internally, and now come March, you're gaining some sort of knowledge, you're doing some sort of research in order to help you move forward with that, okay? All right, so let's get some clarification for knowledge. I haven't read the card uh, from the book, but I'm pretty much familiar with this one. Um, this is basically the acquisition of knowledge. Now, this is card number nine. In the traditional major arcana of the tarot, um, nine is the hermit. Now, there could be some sort of hermitage energy here for you. Um, seclusive, reclusive, trying to, uh, spending time alone in order to, uh, the magician was just pulled to my attention, spending time alone in order to learn, to gain more knowledge, to maybe put a greater plan into place, because I really see you trying, some of you are really trying to manifest something here, a new job opportunity, or maybe just a new expression for your life, a new path to go in, and you're gaining some new skills in order to do so. We have the Eight of Cups, yep, and we have Death. Okay, underneath, <laughs> hey, look at that. Underneath the deck is the Ace of Pentacles again. So I really see, I'm picking up an energy that you're following this new commitment. You're following, and this could just really, this really could just be, um, this could be learning a new way of life for some of you. Um, 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 um. I'm getting some, I'm getting for some of you, you're walking away from something that maybe, and, and in keeping with this theme of a new way of life, maybe some of you are walking away from um, an, express, an expression of yourself or a way that you've lived that you're realizing no longer serves you because there's a big transformation here with death. Uh, and keep in mind that by the time we get to June, we have death and rebirth from the, from the dreams of Gaia as a central theme for June. So I feel like there is a big change happening for some of you Cancerians in uh, the first half of January. I'm sorry, the first half of 2019, excuse me. And it really could be that 2019 is a hugely transformational month or year. Wow. Hugely transformational year for you um, throughout. So what I'm getting here from by the time you get to the month of March, you're going to be on your way towards walking away from something, from some sort of long-standing truth or tradition or way of life, way of being um, that actually hasn't really served you very well for quite some time. And I feel that could be the choice that you're that you're weighing, you know, in in come in the beginning of January, in the beginning of the year. Uh, but I and I don't see this happening. Uh, this could be pretty abrupt for some of you in March, but what I'm really seeing is the beginning of the transformation in March, okay? Um, and then moving into the month of April, you've got the youth. And so this is, I'm, and I'm hearing immediately, I'm hearing um, off the beaten path. So I really see you are brand new to some new way of thinking, some new way of life. Uh, some new expression of yourself that maybe has been trying to come out for quite a long time. Um, and you're not really giving a damn what other people think about it, period. You're like, look, this is, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to go. And you can't stop me, quite frankly. You can't. And I, I would go ahead and say that that's not unhealthy. I mean, that's actually a really good way of looking at it to a certain extent now don't i would caution you against getting a little too egotistical as the youth can represent that sometimes but let's see here let's read a little bit about the youth here adventure new horizons excitement independence freedom rebellion impulsiveness loyalty compromise key phrases quest for adventure live in the moment action without thought Defying tradition and conformity, greater risk, greater reward. Assert your independence. Embrace individuality, a new direction. Freedom from fear and doubts, a time of conflict or turmoil. Communication and compromise. 
address desires. And when the card first came out in the beginning of the reading, one of the first things I thought of was um, a new commitment of some sort. Um, getting to know somebody new. There could be a really significant relationship. Again, there's, there's some pretty heavy relationships energies that I'm picking up for Cancerians um, for the first half of this year, potentially this whole year throughout. Uh, but that's where our focus is, the first six months. But there really could be a budding partnership that comes through and both of you could be really off the beaten path. And it could be someone that you came across maybe in the beginning of the year, maybe in the past. This could be someone from your past. It could be someone that is really quite new to you um, that inspires you to see things differently, inspires you to go on your own path in a way. Uh, and especially with knowledge being the theme of your month of March, I really feel like whatever you have learned, whatever knowledge or information you've stumbled upon, whatever it is you were studying is allowing you now to go in your own direction. Let's get some clarification here, please, Spirit, for the month of April for Cancerians. Okay, well, Strength wanted to pop out. Wow, that is so crazy. There's that Ace of Pentacles again. Um, that is so crazy, you guys. The Ten of Cups. My, my, my. A partnership is definitely starting to happen. And it's so interesting because when I was looking at this card, the youth, my eyes were drawn to, my attention was drawn to the stars up at the top. And I was getting an energy of there is, the, going off the beaten path, but also there's some sort of energies of wish fulfillment here. And then the star came out. Okay, this is definitely about healing, but it's also about wish fulfillment. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles did come out in reverse, and the five of, Pent uh, five of Cups does come out in reverse. And here we have the Seven of Cups also. I'm definitely thinking, picking up an energy of wish fulfillment. That is a central theme here. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. You could be dealing with another uh, water sign. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Please excuse the pause. I'm just taking a second to channel here uh, because I'm trying to understand why the Five of Cups is in reverse here. I really feel like the Five of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles are in reverse. This is someone from your past or this is some situation from the past that has, in a sense, missed an opportunity um, in a way, but... It's almost as if you have gotten over it or they have gotten over it, okay, with the Five of Cups in reverse. But I'm also getting an energy of the opportunity may have been taken. And there's a lot of healing that's happening here. If there was a past situation in which you feel like you may have lost out, now, for some reason, now, by the time you get to April... It's almost as if things have been revamped for you. An opportunity has been taken. And now the possibilities are endless with the Seven of Cups. And this is all because you're following your own intuition. You're going off the beaten path. You are you're basically becoming an independent thinker and doing, choosing to do things your own way. You have the star with the Ten of Cups here. I mean, this is beautiful. This is wish fulfillment. This could be the start of a relationship that blossoms into a, a family or just a something that, of some sort of circumstance that blossoms, some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of healing also that blossoms into something extremely and uh, ultimately fulfilling. All because you chose or you're choosing to do things your own way, not the way others tell you to. And that's the youth. And that's beautiful. All right. So let's get into your month of May here. You have the sage. And so now it's like you've taken the wisdom and, that you've, and the knowledge that you've acquired in March. And you've gone off the beaten path here with the youth. And now you're maturing into this energy, okay? And I have the Three of Pentacles so far with the, with the Emperor, all right? So this is excellent. That's Aryan energy here. The Six of Swords, okay? And you're definitely moving on 
to something new. You're moving forward. And I really feel like you're, as the sage, you're bringing people with you. Strength. Okay. So um, I kind of, <laughs> I did do that a little bit out of order, but that's all right. Um, the messages came through. I do want to read a little bit about sage, the sage here. Here we go. The sage. Keywords, sharing, communication, knowledge, information, culture, tradition, advice, manipulation. Key phrases, be the storyteller, communicate your thoughts and feelings, know your audience, devote time to research and investigation, learn the traditions and customs of others, know your ancestors and heritage, sage advice both given and received. There is no good time to give unsolicited advice. Question your, quote, traditional reactions and responses. Do not speak so much that you forget to listen. Be wary of the smooth talker. Do not embellish the truth. So obviously, this is an energy of being very honest and forthright about who you are, what you believe in, and what direction you're going in. And I definitely see you um, employing the company of others. If y'all want to come with me, you are more than welcome to do so. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here. I'm definitely seeing you be a leader here, Cancer. You could be dealing with an Aries too, or you could have Aries in your chart. This is the Emperor. You also could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart um, with strength here. But the strength that's here is the wisdom that you've acquired and the knowledge that you've gained, and you're moving forward with that. You're moving forward, okay? And you're probably teaming up with others. I definitely see you getting some people behind you uh, in whatever path it is you are deciding to, to, to follow or to walk. And I don't really feel like you need to work so hard or do too much to convince people to follow, follow your lead. It's just going to happen naturally because you're just going to be moving in your own direction, Six of Swords. And I really feel like you're going to be leaving a lot of the mental processes, the belief systems, the belief structures, the ways of thinking and all that. You're going to be leaving all of that behind. Effortlessly, too. Like, I, honestly, it just feels... May just feels so effortless for you, Cancer. Wow, that's really excellent. You have become so strong over the like over these the, these past five months of the of the first five months of 2019. You know your strength and your wisdom almost has skyrocketed for many of you, and you're definitely going off the beaten path here. So then that leads us to June, death and rebirth. All right, I definitely do want to read some of this card here, but this is card number eight. So this is speaking of abundance. Obviously, death and rebirth, transformation. Um, and interesting, I'm getting an energy for some of you. It's like everything has been orchestrated for some new part of you, some new expression in your life to be, re to be born in 2019 by the time you get to june or or by the time you get to june uh, the stage is set for now something to start gestation and to be born potentially later on in the year maybe the next and maybe the year after <laughs> who knows time and energy is fluid and it's not like it's not like you can put a um, solid gestation period on your manifestations. I mean, unless you're giving birth to a human being, and then we know that's around a nine month gestation period. You know what I mean? But when it comes to, when it comes to, um, ideas energetically and all that stuff, you know, it, it just takes however long it takes. But here we go. Let's read a little bit about this. Keywords, endings, beginnings, cycles transformation, transmutation, change, and growth. Key phrases, let go of the past. The future is, unknow is unknowable. Change is unavoidable. There is no going back. Allow yourself to mourn. Death or rebirth is a, graduation, is a gradual process, excuse me. Shed your skin, the dark night of the soul. 
allow innocence to be reborn. Focus on the short-term future, a change in beliefs, attitude, or behavior. And I really feel like for most of you, I mean, it could be any of those keywords there. Some of you may actually go through um, a, a dark night of the soul. That's entirely possible. Those are necessary on the spiritual journey, all right? Because it is in those moments, those moments of the dark night of the soul that you really, you know, shed your old skin. But I really feel like for most of you, it is about um, assimilating this new wisdom that you've acquired, this new knowledge that you've acquired, and really transforming into some a greater version of yourself than you were before, all right? So let's get some clarification here for June for you, Cancer. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, you have the lovers here. Underneath the deck is the chariot. Here you are again, Cancer. So you're really moving forward in your life. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. You've got the Six of Swords. It's now in reverse. And you've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. So... Definitely Cancerian energy here with the chariot, you might have, you might be dealing with a Gemini here with the lovers, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this probably really could be the final end of the situation. You have two cards representing Gemini here, the, the lovers and the Knight of Swords. Um, if you were in a relationship with a Gemini of some sort, I feel like that really could be coming to an end. By the time you get to June, it's really done. Okay, because you have the Six of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. There's no, no modes of communication left. There's no chance of moving forward anymore. You're choosing not to move forward anymore. You're choosing something different here. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is the change of karma. And this is upright, the Wheel of Fortune, and so are the lovers. You could potentially be choosing a different person to be uh, in a romantic relationship with. But either way, Cancer, I see you moving forward, but not in the way that you have in the past. Six of Swords in reverse, but can't, but Chariot, okay? And this is moving forward towards a greater expression of what it is you truly desire. Great change. Definitely a lot of change um, in the month of June. Between death and rebirth here. And I wonder, what was that last keyword? or key phrase, where are you? Oops, I passed it, here we go. Oh, change in beliefs, attitude, or behavior. I mean, that is, that's the biggest one. That stands out to me the most for you, Cancer. Um, and so here you have it, the Wheel of Fortune. That's a completion of a cycle also, okay? So now, wow, look at this. This is a really, this is actually kind of cool. You have six, the number six in the lovers, the number seven in chariot, and the number eight in death and rebirth, six, seven, eight. It's a really, it's definitely a progression here. And you are potentially choosing, you could be, to be choosing between uh, two partners. Um, you could be choosing yourself as well. This could be the union between masculine and feminine energies within you. That is creating this massive change, massive death and rebirth for you. All right, Cancer. So there it is, the first half of your year. Hopefully uh, that resonated with you guys. Please don't hesitate to go ahead and let me know how that resonates. If you would like a look into your own personal uh, forecast, uh, whether that be six months ahead, maybe three months ahead, go ahead and give me an e shoot me an email. Um, we could do it at any time. It doesn't have to be just at the beginning of January. It could be at any moment in your life and looking forward. Yeah? Much love to you guys, and I wish you all the best in 2019. Take care. Mwah! Bye!